In this video, we'll take a look at the chat pod and the Q&A pod in Adobe Connect. Both of these pods enable questions and discussion, but the Q&A pod is moderated and the chat pod enables people to chat freely. Let's take a look starting with the chat pod, which is here on the left of my layout. You can see here some existing chat from the different participants in my meeting. If I want to add a new chat message, there is a text entry field at the bottom. I can simply type in a message and hit enter, and that is automatically added to the chat. You may notice some different colors here. Anybody can change their chat color by going up to the pod options menu in the chat pod and choosing chat color. You can see a number of different colors that each participant can select. This is something that is synchronized. So if I change my chat color to purple, everybody will see purple text. One of the other options here in the pods menu is the text size, and this is not synchronized. This enables people that may want a larger view of the text because uh, small text is getting hard to read as we get older to increase the size of the text for themselves. That doesn't affect anybody else in the meeting. As a host, I can also do things like turn on timestamps so I can see specifically the day and time that this chat was added. Remember, these Adobe Connect meetings are persistent, so this chat may be from several days ago. I can also turn on sound notifications so that if somebody is typing into the chat pod, I'm notified with a small sound. The chat pod is by default public so that as I type a message in here, everybody sees it, but we also support private chat, assuming it's turned on in the preferences. You can see here there's a little plus symbol. I can use that to start a private chat and select an individual, or in this case, a group, one of the predefined groups based on roles in Adobe Connect. I'll select Lisa here, and I can start a private conversation with Lisa. If somebody starts a private conversation with me, I'll get a notification here at the top of the pod with a little notification dot next to it. And I can see Conrad has sent me a message. When I click on it, that notification dot goes away and I can see Conrad's message. Over here to the right of the chat pod, we have a Q&A pod. This actually has two different views to it, a participant view and a presenter view. And the participant view looks an awfully lot like the standard chat pod. There is a text entry field down here at the bottom, and there's some space above where we can show all of the messages that are coming in. But if I switch to the presenter view, you'll see that we're not showing those messages by default. And that's what we mean by a moderated pod. So as people are asking questions in the Q&A pod, only the hosts and the presenters are seeing those questions. So Conrad here is asking, are we recording this? I've got a couple of different options here. I can assign this question by clicking on the assign to label and assigning it to another host or presenter in the room. I can also answer this question myself by making sure I've got the question selected and saying, uh, typing an answer back to Conrad here and replying back personally just to Conrad. So this reply privately will only respond to the person who asked the question, or I can reply to everyone, in which case, if we take a look at the participant view, now everybody sees the question and everybody sees the answer. I can filter this per presenter view uh, if I don't want to see all questions. If I just want to see questions that haven't been answered yet, I can choose open questions. If I want to see just the questions that have been answered, I can select answered questions. Or if we are using the assignment capabilities, I can filter this just to see the questions that are assigned to me specifically. One of the important preferences that's available for the Q&A pod is the ability to hide the question asker's name as well as the question answerer's name. So under the pod options menu here, I'm going to select preferences and you can see the two options for privacy under the Q&A pod. If I want, I can hide the submitter's name who asked the question as well as the presenter's name who answered the question. When I hit done, and go back to the participant view, you'll notice that this is now anonymized. Instead of saying Conrad Sims and Alistair, it simply says question and one reply. 
One last handy feature for those webinar layouts that have a lot of content on them, this Q&A pod will often be quite small. It can be difficult managing hundreds of questions that are coming in. As a host, you have the ability to move the presenter view to the host and presenter area. If we open up now the host and presenter area, which we'll be covering in a different video, you can see we can now resize this Q&A pod to be as big as we'd like. This can sometimes make it easier to manage hundreds of questions that may be coming in for a large webinar. That's a quick look at the chat pod and the Q&A pod in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.